All right, we did it. We went undefeated. That's three for three. Frickin' yes, we're incredible. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. As a reminder, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed, you are entered to win a free Kamigawa Neon Dynasty booster box, which we will be giving away on February 23rd. Now, uh, if you watched the previous video, uh, that went out yesterday, you'll probably understand that I'm still sick uh, because I'm still bulk recording. And so uh, it's literally like five minutes after recording that episode. Uh, and so I am still very sick. Hopefully I don't sound too terrible, uh, but I'm trying to make sure I get ahead and that way we can continue to have gameplay every single day. That is certainly still the goal and uh, it's it's been kind of fun. I, I like having gameplay every day. So thank you guys so much for the amazing support. But Let's talk about today's deck. This is brought to you initially by Total MTG with a minor, minor tweak, uh, which we'll talk about. But I will link Total MTG uh, down below. So thank you so much for sharing this over on Aether Hub. Uh, as he uh, affectionately called it, it's experimenting with Boros enchantments. So uh, as you guys know, enchantments are really good right now. We've seen a lot of powerful decks, mostly built around Hollowed Haunting, uh, which is an incredible card. Basically. Uh, anytime you cast an enchantment spell, you get a little creature token that bolsters itself uh, as as soon as you play more things. So it's kind of ridiculous uh, how good this deck can get. Uh, now with that, we also have things, obvious inclusions like Felidar Retreat, Wedding Announcement is in here, uh, Faithbound Judge, which is actually one of the cards we took out a couple copies of. Uh, truthfully, it was just because I didn't have enough wild cards, but also uh, I there were no Katildas in the original deck list that Total MTG shared, and I think that's a missed opportunity. Katilda is so good, in my opinion, uh, in this uh, enchantments list because not only is it just a very powerful threat on three mana, but on top of that, even if it gets removed, you can throw it onto any given creature that you might have on future turns. Uh, and because it's so easy to create creatures with the Hollowed Haunting or the Felidar Retreat, it's really not a big problem. So uh, I wanted to make sure that we had a couple of these in here. I don't want too many, of course, it is legendary, so we can't have multiples on the field at the same time, but still a very powerful card. Uh, now in the two drop slot, you'll notice we've got just a chock full of removal options. So we've got Fateful Absence, Cathartic Pyre here, a very powerful card that obviously we can use to draw some cards or we can use to kill a creature or a planeswalker. We've got Cinderclasm, which can deal with a lot of the like pest tokens, things like that. Uh, Sacred Fire, which not only deals two damage to any target, but you also gain two life and it has flashbacks. So you actually get a lot of use out of just this one card. Uh, and then of course Shatter Skull Smashing, which is not only gonna smooth out land drops, but provide us with some late game uh, removal as well. Paladin class is in here. This is going to slow the opponents down, especially if they're instant speed decks, uh, and also bolster up our tokens, which is great. Borrowed time for a little bit of extra removal. Uh, Showdown of the Scalds, just one of the best four drop enchantments, really, uh, in my opinion. It does so much for these like red, white, aggro y kind of decks because it refills your hands so quickly and just gives you a lot of counters, which is awesome. Uh, Stencia Uprising, not a card I have played with before, but a four mana enchantment. At the beginning of your instep, create a 1-1 red human creature token. Then if you control exactly 13 permanents, you can sacrifice it. If you do, it deals 7 damage to any target. That's pretty relevant. You can finish a game with that, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we do have Doomscar and Burn Down the House, both for some sweeper opportunities, but also just to spit out some devils with Burn Down the House. And then Amiria's Call as well uh, to give some things indestructible and smooth out the land drops. We do have uh, both Den of the Bugbear and Cave of the Frost Dragon here as uh, techie lands that we can utilize uh, for, for a little bit of extra damage. But overall, I really like this deck. Total MTG, you did a fantastic job building this. Let's see if we can get some wins with it. Let's have some fun. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and this is a bit of a tricky hand, truthfully. We don't have a whole lot of lands, uh, but we do have some really powerful things. And part of me just wants to get to turn, if we can get a third land and it is a white source, we do have Doomscar available to us. I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna try 
I don't love this start, but we are going to give it the best shot we can. Uh, obviously leading here with the uh, Amiria's Call land, so that way, you know, we're not going to get to that if we <laughs> if we can't get uh, too far into here. So uh, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and throw this out for red and foretell this. Uh, now, this does allow us to play that Doomscar next turn if we need to. We also just have Sacred Fire, which we can deal with stuff as we need. Uh, again, guys, I apologize if I do sound kind of rough. Uh, it's just a little bit of a sickness going around, a little bit of a flu. Uh, it is not COVID, which is fantastic, but uh, I did get tested. Did come up negative. Caitlin got tested as well. We were both not feeling super great. It hit me a little harder than it hit her, uh, but she was definitely down and out for a couple days as well. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get over this pretty quickly. Um, I do plan to bulk record though a little bit, so if I sound a little sick for a few videos, uh, don't don't think too much of it. Um, perfect. Let's drop this. Now the question becomes: Do we just drop the Hollowed Haunting, or do we go for the Faithbound Judge? A little worried about a Test of Talents. That's kind of, or like a Negate or something along those lines. I guess Test of Talents only hits instants and sorceries, but a uh, little worried about a counter coming down here. But obviously, this is just the best play we can do. All right, that's fine. Uh, frustrating, definitely, but it's not the end of the world for us. Uh, speed judgment counter on it, put a judgment counter on it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, fascinating. Okay. Um, I think we just go ahead and drop this. Let's see. Uh, I've never played with Faithbound Judge before. This is a brand new card, so I apologize. I'm reading it here just so I make sure I understand it. Three more counts on a attack as though it didn't have Defender. Okay. Okay. That's rude. Uh, sure. Very good by the opponent. Uh, let's drop this. Uh, I mean, I think we just Doom Scar. We could burn down the house to deal with it all, but I don't really want to do that. <sighs> Enchanted player loses the game. That's really good. Um, all right. Cool. Um, I don't really know what we're looking for at this point. What do we want? Uh, we could just drop this for three devils. I don't really love that play though. Uh, let's do this. And let's invest a little bit in this now. Uh, this is just going to make future turns a little bit easier because things will be obviously a bit stronger. Worth noting, we can just drop this, and instead of one ones, we get two twos, basically, uh, which is pretty awesome. They're gonna draw two cards off of this. That's very good. Favorite um, onto the battlefield, and when this creature dies, it's or loses the game. That is so good. Um, deck of many things. We may just want to borrow time on that. Okay. Um, so we can just kill this, uh, which isn't a bad idea. Um, I think though, first and foremost, I'm just going to borrow time on this. Let's get that out of there. I don't really want them to have that. Uh, that's a very annoying card to deal with. And so I'd rather go ahead and get that out of there. And then if they play another creature this upcoming turn, the burn down the house will hopefully hit two things, not just one. <coughs> Excuse me. We also just get to leave up the sacred fire here. <laughs> Not that we necessarily need it, but it would get rid of this, which is kind of nice. And I will go ahead and burn this if uh, given the opportunity. They could very easily counter. I don't really care. Let's go ahead and burn this out. <laughs> I don't know what this does. Cast a spell other than the first spell they cast each turn. Okay. So they're looking to punish us for doubling up here. That's kind of okay. Um, we don't plan on doubling up too often anyway. Um, so that's cool. Cinderclasm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we just have to do this. Get rid of that. Uh, so we're not up against it. The showdown of the skulls is going to be very relevant here, but we just don't have that many lands. So I don't want to, I don't want to overcommit. Um, also, we do take two damage for each spell we cast after the first, so. 
Hmm. We will see. A uh, little curious as to what the... This is an interesting deck by the opponent. It feels... Like, I, I'm not sure what it's trying to do. It has very powerful things, but then also counter spells. So it's like... Like, you're playing powerful creatures on your turn, which then doesn't allow you to leave up the counter spells, is what it feels like. So it's just a bit odd. Cinderclasm can be very good here. Uh, that's also quite nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just drop it. The only downside here is we do take three damage to do this, uh, because obviously these devils get to ping us. I guess we could have waited on the Cinderclasm, but I felt like it was worth it to just go for it. Hopefully they don't have another burn down the house. Uh, if they did, then we definitely messed up by playing the Cinderclasm, but that's okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. This just feels like such an odd is it deck like it's not it's obviously doing pretty well uh which is great uh it's it's just a bit odd uh like i really want to drop the hollowed haunting but i feel like instead i'm just gonna burn this out this gains us two life if it lands if they counter it like they're countering two damage it's not the end of the world I'm kind of slowly going through this methodically because I just don't want to outright lose. Um, they do have powerful cards in the deck though, as we have seen, so we do have to be quite careful as to what they might draw. We're going to play with fire. It's pretty good. Let's hope they don't scry to the top. Alright, one to the bottom. Hopefully they just drew like a land then. If it was just a scry to the top, I would have assumed that, okay, we're probably pretty dead. Um, Gonna deal one damage to us, that's fine. And leave up the rest. Interesting. Okay. Uh, do we think they just have a counter? Like, probably. Um. Alright, let's go for the Hollowed Haunting. That did land, that's kind of surprising. Um. Instant speed, so I guess we just wait. Again, we don't have to take the two damage here, so let's not, if that makes sense. Um, and I am going to go ahead and try and kill this. Cool, that worked. Um, land is very good. Let's go ahead and drop that. Uh, let's showdown. So at the very least now, we at least get that, which is good. Um, do we want to take two damage for this? I am. Uh, the only reason I am here is because this gains us life over the long term, theoretically, and it's also not something that they can just easily burn out. Um, and so I feel fairly confident in being able to just drop this and go for it. May not work out, I have no idea, but this gains us so much life that I feel like it's worth it. Alright, they have sleep in the deck? What is this list? <laughs> Excuse me. That's so odd. Not a card you would normally see at all. Uh, let's do this. Um, what in the world? Okay. Uh, we could drop this, but I kind of just want to... Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature we control. I guess I'll just throw it here. Um, it's an attack for 6. I mean, that's relevant. It's not amazing, but it's relevant. We do have double Den of the Bugbear as well. So, like, we even if they sweep here, we do have options to throw some stuff out, uh, which is good. We do need to start pressuring them. This deck is so strange, though. I have no idea what to expect at all. Deals one damage to everything. Okay. Sure. Uh, that's fine. Um. I'm gonna level this up. 
I don't know what to expect. Like, if they can just deal two damage to us, they can win. But I just don't know what they're gonna have. Like, I have no clue. This is so confusing to me. Um, this is just a weird game. That's all this is. All right, let's attack. We're definitely throwing it on Katilda and hoping for the best. I don't think they might have a bounce spell. That would be like the most frustrating thing is if they just happen to have a bounce spell. Okay. <laughs> what is this list? It's like a ton of one ofs and like weird stuff. Um, we still won. I have no clue what we just fought against. I am so confused by that, uh, but we did it. Yay, go us. Let's jump into game two. That was a long game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number two, and we actually have a very similar start to last time. Um, I think we keep. Again, we just need an extra white source, and we're in pretty good shape here. If we don't get it, we lose, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, that, that first game was a doozy, man. That was a very strange one. Uh, I think we just go ahead and foretell this. We can Sacred Fire later if we need to, but I'd like to have Doomscar available to us at any given point, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw Paladin class out and leave up the Sacred Fire. Uh, we can foretell the other Doomscar at some point if we'd like, but... Interesting. Aggressive inspiration, but, I mean, that's cool. Uh, they get environmental sciences. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to take the opportunity, I think, to just level this up. Maybe that's wrong, I don't know, but uh, we've got the Uprising here, so I feel like it's one of those where that could be a very relevant thing to do. Um, they're going to Environmental Sciences this turn, which is fine. Not the end of the world for us. We really need a land. <laughs> uh, just any land would be great. Um, we've already got all the colors we need, it's just a matter of we need... Uh, one more. Uh, they're gonna inspiration again. Wow. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. There's the land. That's helpful. Let's go ahead and drop the uprising. This is nice because it is gonna just drop a nice little two-two for us. Uh, fantastic that it's already a two-two thanks to the paladin class. So I like that. Which blocks quite nicely against these little one ones that they're creating. So <clears throat> that's useful. There's another one of those. Um. Uh, let's see what happens first. Let's attack in. They may just double block. Looks like they're not going to. That's fine. Let's Uprising again. <laughs> now we get two 2-2s. Two These are really interesting cards. Again, not a card I've ever played with. It's just kind of an odd one. Um, but I really like it. And we're already up to seven permanents, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't actually want to sacrifice them, though. Uh, that's kind of a downside, I guess, but... Okay, uh, yeah, that's quite good. Um, so this we can kick and deal two damage to everything, which is pretty good. Let's see if they block. Let's just see what happens. Okay, they are gonna block. With the witch, nonetheless. Uh, that's fascinating. I would not have expected that. Uh, with that in mind, Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, I know that seems a little odd, but the reality is I don't want them to meat hook massacre and be able to uh, kind of deal with anything there. So I'm cool with doing that. And we're just gonna foretell another doom scar because apparently that's all we've got. <laughs> um, weird that they blocked with a witch. That seems odd. Uh, I guess they can mascot exhibition at this point or in next turn, I suppose. Okay, they just have another witch. I mean, that's good. Uh, yeah. That's pretty solid. All of this doesn't matter to me because we just get more of these. Like, it's the easiest thing in the world to not worry about that. Uh, another Cinderclasm. We are doing pretty well considering we only have four lands. Let's attack in. Again, they're gonna block with the witch. Such an odd way of doing things. Uh, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna pass the turn. They're trying to keep us, I guess, off of the Uprising play. 
Is that all this is? I don't really care about that, to be honest. Like, I kind of just like having a bunch of tutus on the field. Uh, yeah. That's cool. So the question becomes, do we want to go ahead and kick this or the Cinder Clasm, or do we just wait? I think I just wait. <laughs> sure. Let that resolve, that's fine. These are really handling the board quite well, which is kind of cool. Long-term value, man, off of these uprisings. That's so sick. All right. We'll see what happens. Would love a land. A land would be fantastic. Uh, they're going to exile one of these. Man, they are really dedicated to us not having the... Uh... <laughs> That's fine. I don't really care about that. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to pass. <laughs> Another sacred fire. Uh, all right, let's attack. Are they going to block with the witch? No. Uh, all right. I'm going to I'm going to kick this. We're going to sweep the board here. Uh, it's nice because we don't have to deal with the ward cost on the uh, the siege war witch, and that's three of their witches gone. They blocked with two of them, which is just fascinating to me. Uh, yeah. And all of this is, like, fine. We just Fateful Absence on one of these. There's a land. That's pretty good. Uh, we could honestly just Doomscar, too. Not opposed to Doomscarring? Let's attack. Kind of like the Doomscar play. Uh, yep. Again, our stuff is so sacrificial. Like, it just doesn't matter. Uh, we get two more of these, and, like, it's fine. I like to save the borrowed time for something a little more exciting. Wow, okay. Uh, that's a fascinating card, cool. That's very good. Uh, but we just borrowed time it. <laughs> that's trample, that's very good. All right, they're gonna sack it, sure. Uh, okay. So we get to I guess borrowed time a treasure token. That's not that good, but that's fine. Uh, and we'll attack in for four. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, we did it. The Uprising won it, and we only, like, we were so behind on lands that entire game. That was fascinating. All right, well, we have time for one more game, guys. We're a little, little behind on time, but let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Uh, and this will be our last, most likely, but this is a pretty easy keep, honestly. We've got plenty of stuff we can do early on, uh, and we'll probably, yeah, just go ahead and drop this and drop that Paladin class. Next turn, we can drop a Mountain and have the Cathartic Pyre ready to go, uh, which is perfect. And then we've got the Sundown Pass, which gives us doubled color on all of our mana. So, pretty easy start. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I think we'll pass. So if they play, what, like Thalia? I guess would be annoying, but we can get around it. We just play before. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and kill the Luminar cast for it. And then we can kill this one on the upcoming turn. Easy enough. Uh, fantastic, honestly. All right, let's drop this. Let's drop another Paladin class and pass again uh again leaving up the cathartic pyre or the fateful absence depending on what they they uh drop here uh this should be pretty good for us okay uh yeah easy kill on the luminarch aspirant just to get that maul from dealing a lot of damage this turn perfect um we'll do this and i think we'll just go ahead and do this a uh, little worried about what they could have, because they could certainly equip something up here. Like, you know, if they if they drop a good creature, they could uh, hit us with something. Um, but I'm not terribly worried about it. And we can just kill this next turn, so that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think we just go ahead and kill this then. Thanks for the, the treasure token, bro. That kind of helped out. Uh, now, they do obviously have some options for them next turn, which is a little scary, but 
we'll go ahead and hit this. I'm going to show down next turn, most likely. I don't really want to do it when we don't have a lot of mana available. Uh, would much rather have at least one or two mana that we can play off of it. Uh, so they do sacrifice. They get... Ooh, that actually hurts, because now they can show down, get the showdown out of our hand. Now, we have the Shatter Skull Smashing, so we do have a way to kill it, but... Okay, they're going to get the Shatter Skull Smashing out of there. Fine. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna play this out for the land. What this does is get us up to six mana for the Sacred Fire flashback, which I think is pretty relevant against this deck. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Um, I think though the play is definitely Showdown. Uh, this is gonna give us hopefully a land drop. Yeah, definitely a land drop. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw this out there and throw Katilda out. Katilda, very, very good. Now, I'm sure they've got some kind of answer. I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, yeah, they're going to destroy it. That's fine. Get it out of there. This is now playable on that end, though, so it kind of is okay. Uh, and we have a Felidar Retreat that we're able to drop, too, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, they might... Okay, Portable Hole, that's fine. So they're going to get Paladin Class out of there. That's annoying, but again, it's not the end of the world for us, like, at all. Um... Let's drop Felidar Retreat. Let's play the land off of the showdown. It's gonna give us that land. Uh, and I guess let's go ahead and hit him for two here just because we might as well. Uh, yeah, we might as well go ahead and draw a card too, I suppose. There's no reason not to. Doomscar, that could be very relevant in this game. Uh, so very happy to see that. Okay, Paladin class not that relevant anymore. Um, it could be later in the game, I suppose, but it's not that big of a deal this turn. Uh, let's drop you. Uh, do this. Let's play the Katilda on this. The counter here as well, fine as well. Um, let's go ahead and drop Wedding Announcement. Drop the counter. This is so good. This is why Katilda is so good in these decks, by the way. It just gives you such a good out uh, that later on you're able to gain so much life and that kind of stuff. So I'm really glad that I had this in here. Total MTG, total MTG. Please don't take that as I think your deck building is bad because I don't. Uh, I just felt like that's a very relevant thing to do. Um, okay, so they do have first strike here, which is pretty interesting, but... Um, hmm. Let's... We didn't draw a land, which is kind of annoying. Uh, We do have the Sacred Fire, so they have to block this. Am I correct? They do. So... Like, they literally have to block the 8-8. Uh, which is relevant. They're not going to block the 8-8. That seems really bad. Uh, because we can just Sacred Fire them. All right, we did it. We went undefeated. That's three for three. Frickin' yes, we're incredible. All right, let's chat about this. All right, guys, so we went undefeated with Boros Enchantments. Uh, again, total MTG, thank you so much, my friend, for sharing this list uh, over on Aether Hub. I know we played a number of your decks already, and you were very gracious in sharing them, and so I just want to say a huge thank you. You're an incredible deck builder and incredible YouTuber as well, but uh, that was awesome. Uh, very, very happy we have Katilda in the deck. I will say I think that swap was a very good swap, uh, but... I still really like the basis of this list, and it definitely has plenty of outs. Uh, the removal package is fantastic, uh, and so we always have a way to kind of win the game, which is good. So overall, fantastic. I can't believe it, guys. We went undefeated with this. That's pretty awesome. But thank you all so much for watching. Go show some love to Total MTG. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're not already, so that way you can get uh, entered to win that giveaway as well. But all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon.